Charco is one of those unique problems that affects the foot. And quite honestly, we don't know exactly what causes the problem to begin with. Now we're kind of looking at, it might be cytokine mediated, but traditionally we thought that it was maybe related to a blood flow issue, people being neuropathic, which means loss of sensation. But unfortunately what happens usually is that the foot loses its structure and it falls apart, unfortunately. And usually that happens in diabetics now in, the, in this country and around the world. But traditionally it was in anyone who had loss of sensation in the foot. A lot of times it comes down to clinical judgment. A lot of times the first insult, which could be just a sprained foot or someone stepping on someone's foot, can be a, a, what starts the entire cascade to forming a charcoal process. But whoever sees it, the foot will be red, hot, swollen, and that can mask you know, what it could be. To some people that will look like an infection, to other people it could be gout. But anyone who is a diabetic who has neuropathy, which is a loss of sensation, that is, a, that is the thing that people have to think about the most to make sure that there's not an, a charcoal process occurring. It really comes down to preventing a further deformity. So if we can prevent the foot from dislocating the joints, preserving the joints, preserving the architecture of the foot without a residual deformity, we, we've won the battle. But that time period of letting that bone and condition of Charcot calm down can be months. Unfortunately, usually what happens, especially in patients that I see, is that the residual deformity has already occurred. And then that's where we can get into, does the person need surgery to try to fix now what the problem is? But reversing, if we can identify it early, we can prevent that foot from collapsing upon itself and creating that residual deformity that has to be fixed later on. Unfortunately, when you have the deformity develop, usually there's a big bony prominence on the bottom of the foot, and that leads to skin breakdown, and then there's a wound. And we have to deal with the wound. And if we can't provide a foot that is braceable, we will need to intervene surgically to try to create a plantar grade foot, meaning a flat bottom foot that someone can walk in a shoe on effectively. So we can do that by doing surgery. It can be as simple as uh, removing bone on the bottom of the foot, or it can get very extensive where we actually reconstruct the entire foot, where we cut bones, make, take angular cuts, and reform the foot. And we put in internal hardware, screws, plates, and sometimes put on external frames as well to hold the position while the bone reheals itself. Anytime, especially anyone who has a loss of sensation in their foot, especially in diabetics, because that's pretty much the, the major cause of neuropathy in the United States. You need to be very careful if for no unknown reason your foot becomes red hot swollen. That happens, that should be an alarm bell, that this is not something that you should wait and see if it'll get better. It's something you actually need to, you need to have checked out by a healthcare professional. Thank you.